Yeah. Let's understand that. What if it's a violent rape? Sorry? The woman goes to hospital. No, no, no. This was no, no. What I'm let's 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 make it simple. Let's make it. I'm beaten up. Let's make it simple. Pretty evident she hasn't. No, no, no. Let's make it simple. Let's make it simple. So there is no fighting between happen. It was just a consensual sex between man and woman. There was no harm done in any way. There was nothing in terms of what you would expect to be any harm done because they were only having a sexual relationship. If a, if that woman now goes to the court and says this man raped me. How is the crime of rape going to be established? I would like to hear from you. I feel like that's twisting the question. That's not true. No, 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 no. I have well, not Bishop, answered the question. The point is there have been many accounts of people, and I know one personally, she was at one of the refuges. This woman will never have children because she was so violent and gang raped. But do you know what? And the perpetrators were caught as well. This was in Dubai. She was a manageress of a hotel when she was drugged. Yeah. And then wait. Sure. She didn't want to report it. She was advised not to report it. But eventually had to because her injuries were that bad. Everybody knew that she was the one who was punished. Punished? She was okay. punished. Okay. So again, she was in again. For a long time. Okay. So this is where we need to really contextualize what I'm saying. Yeah. Islamic law. Because Islamic law because does they not. Said she had drunk. She had alcohol. And what this no, 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 woman no, no, didn't drink. No, 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 no. What we're saying is Islamic law deals with all. All of the circumstantial okay. evidence. Islamic one moment, one moment, please. The men walked free. No. That woman didn't because. I'm not talking about. Four men were needed no. to witness her rape. Let's understand something. When to establish a grievous crime like rape, we need evidence, evidence of it. If the evidence is only the testimony of a woman, if the evidence is just the own testimony of the woman, do you think it is going to stop? It is going to stop. This point, I have what? Because, because do you think somebody's violently raped? I'm not talking about violently raping. That's a different scenario altogether. No, no, no. That is not Sharia law. That, no, no, no. Sharia law takes all things account contextually. And and please. No, no. No, no, she's violent. it's not like this. It's not like that. You're misunderstanding the. Uh, the but I have to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go. But that's fine. But you're misunderstanding. You're you're taking the cultural practice of certain countries. That's all right. You take care. Okay. But I can just clarify to the people anyway. You can go. It's it's great. Nice talking to you. You take care. Yeah. You take care. Yeah, yeah. Just to clarify to everyone else. It is not true like this. This is how you establish because you can have any woman coming along and saying this man raped me. How do you establish that crime? Just because a woman says so doesn't make it true. I've seen so many setups. Yeah, it doesn't take you. You have to have a level of evidence quite strong. That's why Islamic law will take contextualized evidence. If there's a video evidence of being raped and so on, they'll take that into account. They'll just dismiss it and say, oh, we need four witnesses. Okay, four witnesses was primarily for those accusations of women being unchaste and so on and so forth. Look, I am not a lawyer in Islamic law, but what I understand is I can tell you that this is not the case. This is totally misunderstanding of Islamic law about the punishment of rape. When it's applied in a Western context, you cannot even establish how this is a law or not, because a woman can consent and then later say, I didn't consent. How do you establish that was rape? How do you then punish that individual? Whose evidence are you going to take? Who statements and witnesses are you going to take? It's not that easy. That is why Islam deals with the, the safeguarding of the individual, safeguarding of one's life, one's honor, one's dignity, one's poverty, one's intellect, right? Anything that defies this, anything that, anything that tries to, you know, harm this, Islam has severe punishment. That is why alcohol, drinking, as a severe punishment, it blocks your intellect. Highway robbery, theft, where you, had, you don't have any sanctity and security of life. People come in in daylight and they want to kill you. A severe punishment. We're talking about capital punishment. Likewise, you know, your property. Punishment, severe punishment. But most of the other punishments are called discretionary. Called ta'zid, which the, the judge will decide based on the circumstance how they want to punish that individual or not. But certain crimes are grievous. The the crime needs to be established without a shadow of doubt. That is why 
people need to understand that Islamic law is not what you think is just a harsh law. It is a just law. It is dealing with justice to individual as well as to society. I hope that clarifies the situation.